obviously one of the things that we really have to change here is the, is the culture. Uh, we've had 40 years basically of, of not winning championships. And so we have to make our team believe that we're capable of winning championships and that we're good enough to win championships and how to win championships. And every activity that Dr. Carr has done with us over the last four days uh, is based on winning championships and, and getting that belief structure. Well, this is kind of different from what we did at Akron because we're, we're now trying to build a culture. <clears throat> we're trying to uh, build a new way of uh, a new direction for these young men. And um, Coach has been like a tailor. Um, he has kind of put together different suits, um, different shirts. Uh, and I use that metaphorically because uh, these kids are not used to, based upon the record, of winning. And so he's kind of customized, you know, a certain group of, of thinking that he wants in order to get these guys not only to have winning games, but to have winning relationships. We do a variety of things uh, to really achieve the brotherhood. Uh, first and foremost, you have to find out about the other person. You really have to know your teammates. In order to have a championship team, to win it all, we have to have unconditional giving. Does anybody know what unconditional giving means? Unconditional giving. Who can tell me what that is? You never think about yourself. Always how you know about the dudes next to you. Right. This was an exercise where you had to give on different levels. We didn't tell you, we didn't give you any rules, we didn't give you any boundaries. We just wanted to see whether or not you showed up with it. So, I, I, I had talked to Doc on my visit, so I mean, I knew we were going to be doing some, some team bonding things and some things that were going to make us uncomfortable. So, uh, I was expecting what we got. I mean, I wasn't expecting for us to have to open up as much as we did, but I knew he was going to put us in situations where we were going to have to be uncomfortable. It helped me a lot because I'm kind of a quiet person, like to stay to myself, and for me to be a, the leader that I need and want to be in the future, I know I have to come out of that comfort zone. So these four days have helped me understand that I'm not the only one that has, you know, struggles with coming out of the comfort zone or struggles with speaking up to people or getting on people. We've uh, we've really tried to just create more of a bond and um, I think the biggest thing is trying to be more uncomfortable because that's what he's talked about a lot is we have to be uncomfortable to become comfortable, especially with everybody being new. So that's one of the biggest things I took from it and I know everybody else took from it. I think a lot of teams are a group of individuals that play together but we're a, a group of individuals that play as a team. And uh, we've always stressed the team concept and he gets them to understand how everybody uh, gets what they want when the team wins. And uh, talk about role playing and becoming a brotherhood and making sure that uh, uh, the brotherhood uh, is the key element in all of this. Let's shake this first, bring this forest down. Let's go. Let's go. One, two, three. Go, go.